you will pick up and throw at me this morning. I'm going to give you some tips. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 18. You have to understand this guy called Goliath. He has been coming to God's people every day and challenging. Is there anybody here to challenge me? Come on, you small guys. The Hebrews, nobody matched him. One day, a small little shepherd said, I will take care of him. He went down to the brook. He picked up five stones. How many stones? Five. You have to know why five stones. He picked up five stones and he came all the way near him. And he just used one. That very day, let's go and read 1 Samuel chapter 18. Saul took him that day. Verse 2. Look at your Bibles. Don't miss this. And would let him go no more to his father's house. Maybe you thought that you came here this morning. You're going to go back. God is not going to allow you to go back to your house. To your physical house. He is going to take you into his arms. You belong to heaven from today. Amen. That day. The king's son. What was the king's son name? What was the king's son's name? Jonathan. He looked at this young fellow. Whose name is called David. Look at Bible reading. Verse 3. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant. Because he loved him as his own soul. This morning. The king's son wants to make a covenant with you because he loves you as his own soul. Before we begin this day, there are five promises for you. Are you ready? Five promises. Pick up. Number one. Let's go to verse four. Jonathan gave David five amazing gifts. How many? Who is your best friend? And when was the last time your best friend gave you five gifts. Anybody here? I want to see your hand. One of my friends told me, he came from the US 17 years ago. And he told me, Pastor Paul, when I go to the US, I will send you a shirt. 17 years and I'm still waiting. He has not kept his promise. I hope one day before Christ comes, he will send me the shirt. Let's go to verse 4. Jonathan stripped himself of the, tell me the first gift that he gave. Robe. This morning, the first gift you have during this regenesis is that God wants to throw away your old stuff. He is going to give you a regenesis, a new robe. What does robe represent? Who said that? I'm proud of my, my beloved mommy. I call her mommy. Shall we say amen for that right answer? Yes. Robe. The first gift that you have in Regenesis is that God's righteousness. We are all filthy. We are dirty. We are messed up. We are fallen creatures. How many of you would like to have Regenesis come receive the gift of the righteousness? Number two. Look at my Bible. Sorry. Look at your Bible as I look at my Bible. Can you tell me the second gift? His, what is that? Garments. What is the difference between robe and garment? Anybody here? My friends, tell me. What's the difference between robe and garment? Uh, anybody here wearing a robe this morning? I don't think anybody is wearing robe. But all of us are wearing what? Garment. So what's the difference? What's the difference? Zara, do you know the difference? Yes. Ma'am, what you told is correct. One you wear on the outside and the other one is just an ordinary dress. The garment refers to your character. This morning, God wants to give you regenesis. He's going to give you a brand new character, not on the outside, 
but on the inside. All of us are dressed very well, but how is your inside? Have you, have you any time seen two people in love? Have you seen each other? A boy and a girl. One guy, he went and told one girl, I love you. And the girl in turn said, I love you too. He was so excited. And so he said, I love you three. That's what happens here. David is falling in love with Jonathan. He gave him his very character this morning. Don't get anybody's character. Get the character of Jesus. Welcome to read Genesis. Number three, look, look at the third gift. What an amazing gift. Look at the read Genesis gift. Third gift, sword. When was the last time you got a sword for your birthday? <laughs> uh, I hope your wife has not gifted you a sword. <laughs> a sword represents in the Bible what? Have you all brought your sword? Will you please lift your sword? The best gift you can ever have to have read Genesis is the Bible. God is giving his righteousness. He's giving his character. He's giving his word. Come on, fill in the blank. In the beginning was the and the word was and the word and the word became and is the word dwelling in your heart. Is Jesus dwelling in your heart? Come on, welcome to read Genesis. He's giving you his righteousness. He's giving you his character. He's giving you his word. God is incarnate. Let's look at two more gifts. As God is giving you read Genesis. What is the next gift? The bow. This is not the bow that you wear on the neck, okay? That's bow tie. You know what is bow? Tell me, what is a bow? Look at the regenesis. When you talk about bow, what is the other one that comes along with that? Arrow. For the arrow to reach the destination, you need the bow. So what does bow represent? The bow represents... Exactly. We need some physics. What is Newton's second law? Can anybody say Newton's second law? Very good. F is equal to MA, right? Mass into acceleration. Anybody can say what is Newton's first law? Exactly. A body which is in motion will continue to be in motion, right? Unless otherwise it is stopped from. That's why we call it as law of inertia, right? No. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. The bow refers to the power. We all are arrows, but unless God uses you and gives you the power, you are not going to reach any destination. Let's look at the last gift. Let me try to recollect. What are the four gifts? Robe, garment, sword, bow. Look at the last one. Belt. Thank you so much. Girdle. Back in the Bible times, have you seen Middle East people, how they wear dress? They wear a robe. They always wear a girdle. You know what is the use of girdle? Girdle keeps your dress intact. What is that which keeps your life intact from falling? Girdle. You know, if you know the weapons of spiritual warfare, especially what we study in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6. The girdle of somebody told that. Who is that intelligent person who answered? The girdle louder of? Who said true? Uh, tell me the truth. I'm so proud. Shall we say amen for her? Which church do you belong, madam? Are you, which church do you belong? You Thank you so much. We are so proud of you. Thank you for joining us. Truth. This morning, I want to recommend that all of you 
at the beginning of regenesis receive the righteousness of Jesus receive the character of Jesus receive the look into your Bibles tell me what is the next one I told you the Bible the word and next receive the power of God and finally you receive the truth welcome to regenesis this is just the tip of an iceberg of what we are going to experience this whole day amen may you experience regenesis i want to hand over the program to ma'am monisha okay monisha you can come with precious and begin your program uh, i'm wondering is dr portia here she's supposed to be okay we will start the program because we are forced to start here already we are delayed by 15 minutes all the participants of the Sabbath school program you may kindly come here to end this session I'm going to ask uh, my good friend uh, attorney Carlos to come forward and offer the prayer he is the president of the Christian couple circle and he comes from Passai Church will you please come forward sir and offer the prayer we are very happy that you're here with us. Shall we all stand as we bring this to a close?